Hi and welcome back to GUI.ai. We are looking at a really cool new tool that we've set up for using stable diffusion on your QR codes. I think you must have seen a lot of amazing trending stable diffusion and QR code pieces across the internet and we've built a tool for it now. It's pretty simple. All you need to do is add in your, your URL for your website or any other link and give it a stable diffusion prompt and we'll give you a beautiful looking QR code which is readable and also tells you the number of views it's got. So really simple, we'll change this uh, prompt out from busy street of Mumbai to say uh, on the surface of Mars and I'll keep the H uh, HTML link the same, sorry the hyperlink the same and I hit submit. So we'll just run you through the settings but basically what's happening here is that the, H the sh URL is uh, shortened and we give you a specific GUI.AI URL. We make a QR uh, image uh, which we clean up and it is run through control net and stable diffusion and it gives you these uh, two outputs and then it tries to select which outputs will work and we have a little programmatic scanner uh, scanning system within the uh, product as well. So here you can see it's given me two outputs and uh, if you try using them with your phone you'll see that they are working as well. So the format is super simple to use and we have some good default to figure it out but if you really want to dive into the settings you can open up the tab and choose whichever model you prefer. Here we are using a new model called Dream Shaper, but uh, analog diffusion or protogen would also work really well. And the control net settings are also already in place with tiling and brightness. Now this is very simple. The setting goes from 0 to 2 uh, and the higher the number, the more of the QR code appears and the lower the number, the more of the stable diffusion prompted image appears. So we've observed that around uh, 0.3 to 0.5 works really nicely where it's a bit of a blend of the both. And for the readability of the QR code based on the image, sometimes it can differ. So usually between uh, 3.5 to 5 works really well. So just to show you what I mean by this, I'll change this out to 0.1 and I will use the same prompt that we had and I will hit submit. Right, so this should give us two other stable diffusion QR codes. And here you see the QR code is absolutely not visible. So this is because uh, we use the setting closer to zero, which basically means more of the image and less of the QR code. And I will bring this up to say 1.8 and show you the same thing. Now what will happen is you'll hardly see any of this astronaut's image and you'll mostly just see the QR code. So there you go, you, we used it at 1.8, which is almost close to 2 and you can only see the QR code. So obviously this doesn't serve our purpose. So play around, but what we found is between 0.3 to 0.5 really works well, depending on what you're making. And you can have a look at our uh, examples as well. We've done some really cool ones for Oppenheimer and Barbie and uh, see what works best for you. And the last bit of the settings, which is actually uh, quite useful, especially if you have a uh, have a marketing campaign to uh, to make these QR codes for or it's specifically for a printing purpose is that it, we, are, we are allowing you to not just build it in a square format so say I take this uh, smartphone uh, format so it's got this like wide angle thing maybe I change this to portrait and uh, maybe I want the image to be uh, towards the bottom part of the uh, of this particular image so now if I were to go back to sort of the original close to the original settings Oops. and hit submit again so here you go so you get this really beautiful long image and you can place the QR code wherever you want in it and it will give you a sort of integrated kind of a beautiful thing here uh, the rest of the settings are all the same. We're using negative prompts. You can choose the number of outputs, the quality, uh, artistic pressure. 
and we also this addition now of schedulers so if you feel that you want to try them out you've been looking at things across reddit please have a look at these as well uh, enjoy using the tool and let us know where we can help you and you can always reach out to us at support at gui.ai or join our discord thank you